I'd like to take a moment to welcome our uh, partners, our elected officials, our parents, our guests, and the wonderful designers of the Baltimore Design School. Give yourselves a round of applause. By a round of applause, how many people are excited about this new building? I'd like to say Happy New Year and congratulations to every designer sitting out in the sea of audience <laughs> that I see this morning. You all may not know it, but you came through a lot and you went through a very long process to get here. So you are the best of the best in Baltimore City. Give yourself a round of applause. To our sixth grade, um, our sixth grade designers, I promise you. Every day will not open like this, okay? A lot of you look overwhelmed, but we, we, we'll we take good care of you. So we're gonna have a ribbon cutting ceremony this morning and we're about to get that program started. All right? Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning, designers. Good morning. Let me just first say welcome to all of you to the Baltimore Design School, our, our new building. Let's give our building a big round of applause. Let me just say that this day has been a long time coming, but I can tell you I am just so excited as I'm sure many of you are. are. I was thinking back early this morning about 10 years ago when we thought about the idea of doing a design school in, here in Baltimore. And I always tell people, a good idea becomes a great idea when you surround yourself with the right people. Thank you to my board of directors. Thank you so much for supporting me. Thank you for believing in our idea. I remember when I first talked to Fred Lazarus about this idea. He's a very, very busy man. He's the vice chair of our board. And he finally decided that this was the right thing to do. But it was also Steve Zigger, and we all sat down and talked about how we could infuse energy into this building and at the same time provide for our future designers a building that would help them to be creative and lead to brighter futures. And so I am forever grateful. I also want to thank our governor and our mayor, who were actually mayor and city council president uh, when we first began talking about this idea. Thank you all also for believing. And just one short thing I wanted to say this morning. The reason this is the Baltimore Design School is because we want to remind everyone that design is a part of everything we do. Whether it is the clothes on your back, the building you walk into, the games that you might play, or the graphic arts that you may design. And that's what this school is all about. It is about future designers. And we look forward to young people, your designs, and your participation in the future of not just Baltimore, the state, and our country. Congratulations on becoming designers at the Baltimore Design School. I want to move our program real quickly so that we can, in fact, cut our ribbon. But I want to take a moment to recognize some great folks in our audience. Our state senator, Nathaniel McFadden. Thank you for being here. Senator Vernon Jones, thank you for being here. Delegate Sean Tawan, thank you for being here. Delegate Barbara Robinson, thank you for being here. City Councilwoman Mary Pat Clark, thank you for being here. City Councilman Paul Stokes, thank you for being here. Our State Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Lillian Lowry, thank you for being with us. 
as well as all the Baltimore City School officials and staff. We appreciate you. Thank you for being here. Our PTO president, Jacinta Wise, who's also always here, a very active part of our community. Thank you, thank you. The new Green Mountain West Community Association, President Dale Hargrave. Thank you, Dale. Thank you for opening up this community and your hearts to this school. Thank you so much. I have to thank the Ziggler Sneed Architects and their team of consultants. Thank you. This beautiful building. Thank you again, Ziggler Sneed. But I also must thank the Seawall Development Corporation. I had nothing to do with the building itself, nor the design, but I did ask for one thing, and that was that the Baltimore Design School have a sign on the building. Thank you, because when you're riding up 83, you can see the Baltimore Design School. And thank you, Southway, Southway Builders. You have done a fantastic job. Always have to thank the money people, Governor, m and Bank. Let's give them a big round of applause. And now we'll have some words from one of the greatest governors in this United States of America, Governor Martin O'Malley. Are you all excited? <laughs> it is so great to be with all of you. Thank you for your patience here at this program. I am so very, very proud of you guys, each and every one of you. The very fact that some of you came here when the Baltimore School for Design was a brand new idea, that you took the chance that this could be a great school and that you could realize your fullest potential by coming here, that took a lot of heart. And that took a lot of courage. And I have a tremendous amount of faith in your ability to make a new way for all of us. I want to congratulate Senator Pugh for her vision. And I want to thank all of the members of the Baltimore City delegation. Uh, Delegate Robinson, Delegate Turan, Senator McFadden, Senator Vernon Jones, Rockwell, who cast the votes that have allowed us as a people all throughout our state to do more for our children in education in these tough times rather than less. And this is a physical manifestation of that. Uh, look at these beautiful, look at this, these beautiful windows and all of the light in this old building. I want to congratulate your board of directors. Also, uh, I want to congratulate T-Bold Mannequin and all the people with uh, Seawall who made this possible, and also Steve Seeger. Thank you. What a great job you did. You did. You did. You did. And Fred Lazarus and so many uh, from uh, MICA and, and so many good people. Let me conclude just with this. Uh, we, uh, we expect great things of you guys. We really and truly do. The work that we've done as adults to make this building possible, to attract the sort of partnerships, to give you this uh, tremendous opportunity in education to think anew, to design, to, to think conceptually, to not only see things as they are and the symmetry of, of this world that you've come into, but to imagine a different symmetry, to be able to hit a disruptive but more creative uh, uh, vibe that creates a new world and creates and imagines new things, better, healthier things, things that make our world a more attractive place, yes, but also a healthier place. These are exciting times, but you're the ones that walk through these doors. You're the ones that go home at night to study. You're the ones who have that tremendous responsibility to develop your own talents so that you can make this world anew. And I want to thank Mayor Stephanie Rawlings-Blake, all the members of Baltimore City Government, and all of your teachers and your parents. There are very few places in this country that have seen the increased levels of achievement that the students of Baltimore City have been leading the way 
in uh, putting up on the board. So keep doing it. Have a great year, and thank you for the good work ahead. Thank you. I'd like next to bring to the mic a woman who stood in this building when she was really trying to figure out what the heck is going on here, but has been with us every step of the way. Our great mayor, Mayor Stephanie Rollins Blake. See, I can be honest with the senator. I thought she was crazy when she had me up in here. We had the, the natural air conditioning because there wasn't a window in this place. I said, I don't know how they think they're going to turn this into a school. I said, she's either a visionary or she's crazy. She said a visionary. And today I will affirm that new title. I'm so happy to be here with the governor, with our state superintendent, with our uh, school board members, with all the members of uh, public service, with the board of directors to say congratulations. And to the students, happy first day of school. So I have a few questions. questions for the students. Who brushed the teeth this morning? <laughs> All right. Who put on deodorant this morning? Who put on clothes this morning? Who came to school in a bus or a car this morning? All right. And who is sitting in a beautiful building this morning? Designers had something to do with every part of that. Whether it's designing the toothbrush or the packaging for the tooth, Paste, the deodorant that I hope you all put on this morning, all of it, all of it, the car design, the bus design, the building design, whether it's fashion designers, graphic designers, architects, designers impact every single part of your life. And you will do that for all of us. Every, I, I came in here this morning and everybody's amazed at how beautiful this building is. And, you know, everything about it is just new and fresh and impressive. But I said to myself as I, as I was sitting here, I'm sitting in a room of designers who are going to outshine everything that we can see now. Your pos the possibilities for your life are limitless. And I know with the team of instructors that you have here and the board of directors and the community who has embraced this school, no one's going to be impressed anymore with this building. They're going to be impressed with what you're doing in. I want you to make this the best school year ever. And thank you so much for having me. And now we'll hear from our chair, commission chair of the board of Baltimore City School Board, Dr. Saul. Please join us. my comments brief. I just want you all to know that the school is the product of a vision and an ideal come to life. There are a number of skeptics and critics, among which I was one. <laughs> and I admit that you all have proven me wrong. Congratulations. It's Thank you. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And the sight that I see is absolutely amazing. Um, I'll let you all know that the jobs that I have, um, the jobs that many of you um, have in the audience, these are jobs that some of you will have, and some of you will create the new jobs. Um, someone who is standing um, at middle age, we recognize that the jobs that you and your peers are going to have in the decades to come are jobs that you are going to create. And this school positions everyone um, to be better prepared um, for the skills that we're going to need moving forward to make the world better. Um, as the governor and the mayor have both acknowledged, we are expecting so much of each of you. We're all very proud of you. Thank you for having the ideals and the vision for making this school absolutely amazing. And I look forward to a successful school year and many to come. Thank you so much. Thank you. And now we'll hear from our interim CEO of Baltimore City Public Schools, Tisha Edwards.
Good morning. So I have a similar reaction as the governor. When I walked in, the first thing I said was, wow. Uh, this is just amazing. And uh, it really speaks to how you can take something old and thrown away and give it life and meaning. And I want to thank Senator Pugh uh, for delivering on her promise to our children and delivering on her promise to our city and taking something old and thrown away and making it new and having meaning. Thank you for that. I want to uh, especially welcome and thank uh, my members of my board. Uh, you've heard from the board chair, Commissioner Sauls, but I'd also like to uh, acknowledge Commissioner Cheryl Kostani and uh, Peter Cannon for being here. Uh, and uh, for supporting the work that we have in front of us. Uh, and I'd also like to say a special thank you to Maryland Stu Superintendent, Dr. Lillian Lowry, who is a big advocate of Baltimore City Schools. Thank you for being here and standing with us this morning. My job today is really simple, and it's really to just say thank you to all of those involved in making this school a reality. Uh, as I said, first and foremost, I had to give praise to <laughs> the queen of the vision. Uh, but I also would like to give thanks to Fred Lazarus for bringing this vision and experience to bear as co-founder and vice chair of the Baltimore Design School Board. Of Board. I also want to thank our governor, uh, Mr. Martin O'Malley, who's been a staunch supporter of public education in Baltimore City Schools throughout his career in public office, and whose tenure as governor has been marked by Maryland Public Schools being ranked number one in the nation for five years in a row. And of course, our deepest thanks to Mayor Stephanie Rollin Rollins-Blake, whose unwavering support and strong advocacy for city schools was a critical factor in the successful passage of the bill providing more than a billion dollars in funding for the first phase of our 10-year building plan. My second reaction when I walked into the building this uh, morning was, the first was wow, the second is, and we need 136 more buildings just like this. So I want to thank the mayor and the governor for making that possible. Um, and that's really why today is so special. It's special because of this building, but it is also special uh, because what we know is a what we know is ahead of us is that more children in Baltimore City will have the opportunity uh, to experience a day just like today. This is not the anomaly. This will be the rule. Uh, this will be the norm. We are definitely in a school. <laughs> this will be the new normal. Uh, for Baltimore City Schools, and that could not have happened without the wonderful and amazing delegation that we have in Annapolis. Thank you so much. Uh, under the leadership of the board, this creates the perfect example of how we will continue to get things done for our schools and our kids by working together on their behalf. This is day one of the new school year, and the future starts today. Many, many thanks to everyone who is working so hard to make our future bright for our children. And I want to give a shout out to all of the beautiful, cool-looking designers in the house. This is the coolest looking audience. You all rock, and we are, are expecting amazing things from the young people in this building. Thank you so much. And our final speaker before we cut our ribbon will be our principal, Nate Burns. But I also want to acknowledge our first principal, Joe. Raise your hand back there. Thank you. Thank you for believing.
and I also want to acknowledge our teachers and our staff because we've got model teachers here, Mr. Governor and the Mayor. We've got model teachers here. And right there in the front, there's our teachers who've been with us from the very beginning, who believe in the school, some of them MICA graduates. Thank you all. Principal Nick and Burns. Good morning again, everyone. Again, I welcome you back. Um, I'd like to thank the support. I'd like to thank my, my staff for the support and all of the pep talks and all of the late nights. We, I, I don't think I left this building before 8 o'clock one night over the last two weeks, but it was worth it. Looking at all the designers coming in and seeing the smiles on your faces, it was absolutely worth it. So I have a few things to say, and as you all know, I have a tendency to ramble, so Senator Pugh told me to keep my comments to 45, I'm sorry, four to five minutes, all right? <laughs> all joking aside, three points that I just want to make. I want you to look to your left, all of my designers, look to your right, and I want you to do everything in your power to make sure that person to your left and to your right is here again next year, all right? <laughs> Number two. The second thing, we're designers, okay? And sometimes life gets the best of us. I've been a student before, I've been wanting to give up, but I want you to know that I want you to not complain about the dark, I want you to design a candle and make your way through, all right? And the third thing, know that you can talk to me about anything, you may not like my answer, I'm going to tell you the truth, and I'm going to treat you with the same respect and the dignity that I would treat my own children with. I love you, and Happy New Year.